Hey guys, this is Francesca. I was traveling in India for a month, and here's are my some of my stories. India, you have opened my eyes. It was absolutely beautiful when I was flying from Delhi to Leh city. You saw the mountains after mountains, layers after layers. I signed up for ten days. We pass on a meditation in a small village called Sabu, near Bali city. Am I ready? Yes, I am. I was telling myself for more than three years that one day I'm gonna do vipassana in India, and here it comes my day. This center is located in a remote place. Evaluation, three thousand five hundred meter, and the temperature it's around minus twenty degree. We had to wake up four in the morning and meditate for twelve hours a day in a dormitory hall, and go to sleep around nine p.m. Actually, we pass on a meditation. You need to think about nothing while you are meditating. Just only focus on your sensation, and without reacting to it. Anicca is mentioned a lot in we pass on a meditation. It means impermanence. So the pain will go away, and everything is gonna go away as well. And yes, we are the crazy people from Vipassana. After ten days Vipassana meditation course, I am back to the civilization. But Anicca remains in my mind. You don't actually see many tourists when you are traveling in off seasons. Being a solo traveler, you can enjoy the total freedom. When you meet some interesting people on the way, and you just change your plans. It was a magic moment. After the homestay in Macavelli, the second morning when I opened the door, I saw all the mountains, all the layers. They are covered by the snow. Life is simple when you are surrounded by the nature. After Ladakh, I decided to go to the other side of the Himalayas. Here I am in the Hamsala. I had my first camping experience in Triant Mountain. I didn't know where I should look at. It was just 360 views. Walking on a glacier, getting stuck because of the snow. I just can't forget about this hike. The Hamsala. See you in five years. I have traveled by bus, by train for more than ten hours, and one time I took the train for twenty hours, and it was completely safe. Varanasi. Is completely different than the places I have been to. It's just chaotic, but in the same time, you have these mixture feelings in your mind. I mean, I just saw the body got burned. So what I can say, in this holy city, death is being celebrated. India, Ojule, thanks for this experience, and see you soon again.